In this lesson, we will learn how to graph trigonometric functions and how to transform them via the use of sliders. On your handheld, open up a new graphs application. The first thing to take note of is what graphing mode you are in. By default, it will probably say radians, but if it doesn't, if you click on your little icon at the top there, you can switch between degrees and radians. We want to enter the basic sine graph, so you can type in sine, or you can access the trig functions via the trig button next to seven on your keyboard, and choose sine from your palette. Put in X, enter, and you get your basic sine graph. Let's change the window settings to be in terms of pi. To do that, press the menu key, come down to option four, which is window zoom, and choose option one, window settings. Our X minimum, we would like negative two pi. You can type in pi, or you can access the pi symbol via your keyboard instead. Press tab, our X maximum value is going to be positive two pi. Tab, X scale, I would like to enter a value, and I'm going to enter pi divided by two. So my X axis scale will be in increments of pi over two. Y min, I'm gonna choose negative six. Y max, positive six. And my Y scale, again, I'm going to choose a Y scale of one. And enter when you are happy with your values. Note now that your X axis is in terms of pi and your scale is going up by pi on two. Let's now transform your basic sine graph. Press tab. Type in three multiplied by F1, which is our original sine graph, X, and then negative two. The three will dilate our original graph in the Y axis by a factor of three. That is our amplitude. And the minus two will translate our original sine graph two units down. Press enter and we get our transformed graph. We will now introduce sliders instead. Press tab, go back up to function two with your up arrow, and just backspace to remove what you've typed in. This time we will type in A multiplied by sine of X, and then we're going to add C. A is going to be our slider for the amplitude, and C is gonna be our slider for the vertical translation. Press enter, and you'll be prompted for sliders. Press enter, and it will place your sliders on your screen. You can move them to any position you like, and press enter. Let's now change the look of those sliders. To do that, click on the slider you want to change, then right mouse click, or on the keyboard, it would be control followed by menu. And you'll, you can then change the settings of your slider. Our variable is A, press tab. The current value, I'm gonna change that to one. The minimum value is negative five. Maximum value is positive five. I'm happy with those numbers. The step size, let's change that to enter value and let's go up in increments of one. Coming down, our style, let's change our slider to a vertical slider, and let's minimize our slider, which gives us buttons to press instead of a sliding scale, and press OK. Note how that slider for A has now changed its look. Let's do the same thing for C. So click on C, right mouse click, or on the handheld, it is control menu. Let's change the settings. Press tab, our value is one again. Negative five and positive five are good values to choose. 
Step size, again, I'm gonna change that to enter value and put in one. My style is gonna be a vertical slider and I'm gonna minimize the slider again. Okay. And I now have my two sliders for the amplitude and the vertical translation. And now when I change the value of those sliders, you can see how my original graph is transformed. As I change the C value, the original graph will be translated vertically. And as I change my A value, you can see the amplitude changing. That is all for this lesson. Be sure to check out the other lessons in this series.